controversial gun permit bill flipped on its head today. Dozens of people, even some law enforcement, turned up for a committee meeting this morning. Many ready to voice their opposition, but a last-minute revision changed everything. 24-Hour News 8 State House Bureau Chief David Williams is live in the newsroom to explain. David. Well, opinions and even some faces quickly change as well as the lawmakers started speaking in committee. The original bill stated an Indiana resident who was allowed to have a handgun could have carried without a handgun license. You only would have needed a state-issued ID. Those words sparked controversy. Because we were very concerned about the original bill. State Rep. Timothy Wesco acknowledged that concern from several people this morning. Sure, there's some controversial language, and I feel like we've took, taken some positive steps forward uh, for gun owners without causing any unintended consequences with uh, law enforcement. Those opinions so strong, Wesco threw out his original House Bill 1424. Everything that you've read about the bill thus far is gone, and we're starting essentially with new language. That new language basically says the bill would give a free lifetime carry permit starting July 1st, 2019, and also allow for an individual having a four year permit to go to a five year permit, take the national criminal background check initially, but not have to take it again every time they buy a gun. Law enforcement, like Candleville Police Chief Rob Wiley, who feels the new bill would still allow careful consideration of gun permit applicants. So, so that was extremely important to our organization. Uh, and I think to law enforcement in general that it, that ability to vet uh, up front, of which the original bill uh, had taken out. Fort Wayne's police department sees the amendment as a success, too. Is it perfect? No. I, it's not a perfect, but it's not a perfect world. Becky Bollinger with Moms Demand Action says she feels like many Hoosier voices were heard today. The permit process will continue because it does nothing but keep us all safer. The new bill passed the House committee this morning by a vote of 12 yes, one no. The bill moves forward to a second reading. Live in the newsroom tonight, David Williams, 24-Hour News 8.